Here we're going to do one example of evaluating um, an expression um, of a minus b for a equals 8 and b equals 5 ninths. Um, this is just kind of an interesting type of problem that we really haven't seen yet um, in terms of the strategy we're going to use to um, to solve it. So of course we're just plugging 8 in for a and 5 ninths in for b. Now, um, you know, we've been working with subtracting mixed numbers and things, and so you might at first um, think to kind of look at it that way, kind of as a mixed number situation. And I suppose you could. That would be fine. Um, but uh, you can also just go ahead and subtract these as fractions. So even though 8 is a whole number, remember that 8 is the same as 8 over 1. We've seen this little trick before. And so if you think of 8 as 8 over 1, then it's really clear what the least common denominator is. It's just 9. And so what we can do is multiply the top and bottom by 9. And we end up with 72 ninths minus 5 ninths. And then 72 minus 5 is 67 Ninths. Now, if the answer um, can be given as an improper fraction according to the instructions, this is just fine right here. Improper fraction answer. But just understand that if it does ask you to write the answer as a mixed number, no problem. Just simply do your procedure for turning a number into a mixed number. So. 9 goes into 67 7 times. 7 times 9 is 63. So that tells you that your answer is 7 and 4 ninths. So just depending on how you're asked to give the answer, you can put either of these.